Hello, so in this video I want to show you how um, to create a different kind of progress bar or well, it's not going to be a progress bar in this case, it's going to be a progress circle so at the end of this video this is where you're going to find out how to make right so this is what's going to happen so we have a progress bar that starts at 0% and then goes round in a circle and fills up the bar until we get to 100% so let's get started so for this component I'm going to use a, an open source um, component which you can find on github here at um, CE round progress view so that's the link in there so basically what CE round progress view gives you is a uh, it actually uses core animation to animate a circle round a pie chart so that's basically what we have in there so if you download that so um, this is also another option which you can have this probably looks very similar to what you have in a in the iTunes app where you can actually play a sample of of any any music alright so we're gonna download that I'm gonna use that in our project so I already have everything set up in here it comes with four files these are the four files in here CE run progress layer and the CE run progress view so basically I'm gonna use an ADV run progress view which encapsulates that and then pulls in our progress progress layers and the, sorry which which pulls in our um, CE run progress view okay so what we do have now is on the storyboard let me open the storyboard for you so we have some elements on the storyboard in here and it's it is basically the run progress view and then the class in here is the ADV run progress view so I've basically dragged and dropped uh, sorry I've basically dropped in a new component in onto the screen in here right okay so let's find out what ADV round progress view does so if you go to the to the um, M file so let's start from let's, let me comment out some lines and then we can basically start from scratch and see how that's built up so what we have here is the ADV round progress view right it has a pie view which is basically the um, round progress view pull, pulled into our application so pulled into our method here and then we have a couple of init methods. So what this does is um, we have an init with frame, just in case you wanted to initialize it using using code. And this should and this is used when you actually want to initialize it using a storyboard or a zip file. All right. So they both call this method init ivars, right? And this is the init ivars method in here. So this is where the magic happens basically. So we have a background color, which is clear right and then we have a pie view so which is the round progress view this is initialized here and we have in it with frame self dot bounds and then we're putting a tint color which is in our case is gonna be blue and then this starts at half pie and then this is added into our sub view so if we run this let me just please show you what we get for that Alright, so basically that's basically what we get. That's that is the animation, and this is what CE run pro progress view gives you. So that's a very good component already. So now we want to add some extra bits to that and then make it look a little bit more realistic. So for that, what we have is um, some images. Let me open one of them. So basically, if you open the large one, so we call it progress circle large. Um, you can already see a preview there, but let's wait until it opens up. Okay, so what progress circle gives us is basically two circles, two two concentric circles. This one has a, a kind of a drop shadow in there, and then this circle is kind of a stroke around the inner circle, and then this the space in between this two circles is transparent. So what you're gonna have, what you're gonna actually find out is when we do put that over this circle you'll find out that we will only see like a blue strip around that and then this circle will cover it up so it's actually kind of as easy as that so this image was made in Photoshop of course and this is part of the Fit Pulse template and now uh, you can also get this um, as part of a download um, and down below this video so you should see a download link below this video which, which gives you like a sample a sample of this okay so let's create that image view so that's that one there so we have a self that image view in it with frame so that in initializes that image view using the, the bounds of this control 
and then we'll, of course we're putting that progress circle large image as the image and that's what we have in here all right so if we run that let's see what we get as well so if i click on that so you see this is what we get so now we get that nice um strip of blue going round across all the way right okay so the next step is um to add the the label so actually the progress percentage so that what we have here is a label here we create a new label we have a clear background color we center it and then we have a new um, kind of like a custom font in there and then that's our color and then we have a shadow and a shadow offset so that's kind of basic uh, initialization of a label and then if we add that to our sub view this is going to basically show up in the middle right and then we need to make sure that this label is um, modified as we change our progress so this is the method that changes the progress right so if we have a set progress which is a new progress and then we have ourself that label value and then we set the text to the percentage the current percentage at that progress so this runs from 0 to 1 and then this basically multiplies it by 100 to get a, a nice round value and then there are some other methods we just set um, the methods of that class it sets the image sets the tint color and then the padding all right so let's run that and then here that's what that's what we get so we see we have our presented going all the way from zero all the way to a hundred all right so that's basically how to set that up um the good thing is um you don't probably need to follow the if you prefer to follow and then take a look at the code and see how that is done so at the bottom of this video i have a link for you where you can basically download a sample project which just shows you and um, which actually implements this round progress view in an empty view all right thank you very much for listening I appreciate it.